Real YouTube is talk about typing. Today's typing is surprising to me. Mm, dang, the camera didn't finish loading. Feels, feels, feels something, man. Anyway, hello. What's going on? Um, today we're talking about something that I was just like prepping. I so I sorry. Here's the context. I was prepping for um the Players Cup. And I was, like, doing research on, like, the tournament, this tournament that had done, like, that had happened and seeing if there was anything interesting to me. And I noticed something extremely, to me at least, surprising. Something that I did not anticipate um, at all, frankly. Like, something that, I, like, when I saw it, I was like, wait, this, this is really surprising. So, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. The fact of the matter is that if you take a look at this tournament and these teams, and of course, this is early meta, like, this is like, um, this was like the first weekend of... Uh, the Crown Tundra, so, uh, it was technically even before the ladder started, so it was, it was, like, still very, very early meta, but there's still a trend here, which I think is interesting, and that is that, if you look <coughs> at these results, an, an overwhelming majority of the teams have at least one grass type, and that's very surprising to me, so if we look, we see Cortana, Cortana and Amoongus, no grass type, Amoongus, no grass type, Whimsicott, Rillaboom, Cortana, Rillaboom, Cortana, Amoongus, 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 Cortana, Amoongus, 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 Cortana, Ferrothorn, Cortana, Cortana, no grass type, Ferrothorn, no grass type, no grass type, Rillaboom. Um, so of these 26 teams, I think we only counted, what, five or six that don't have a grass type? Which is very surprising. I didn't, like, carefully look, but I would bet, like, even for ground types, you're already seeing less ground types, right? Like, all the first team has two, but then the rest, you don't get another one until number seven. Um... Fire types, you have like a... Actually, fire types are pretty popular as well, now that I look at it. They're not as overwhelmingly popular, but... Yeah. They're, I guess the fire might even be the second most used type. But that's partially because a lot of this is in Sonora. Um But yeah, so basically, like... If you... if, if For those of you who might remember a while ago, I did a typing tier list. Um, and actually, I can pull it up if I want. Um, let me pull it up really quickly. Um... And in the typing tier list, I kind of talked about, like, what which types are good, um, uh, which types are bad, and I didn't put grass especially high. I think grass is a B tier type. Um, mute this. Cool. Um, so, yeah, if we go ahead and take a look at this, pull this into, hang on, how do I do this? Let's see here. Let's do this, right? Um, we can see that um, grass is ranked in the B tier, right? Um, it's worse than Fire, Ghost Ground, Psychic, Electric Dragon, worse significantly than Fairy, Steel, and Water, um, and about as good as Rock, Normal, Fighting, and Dark, right? This is the, this is my typing tier list. Now, yeah, sorry about that. Um, like I was saying, Grass is like a, as a, according to my, my own tier list, I said that Grass is a B tier type. Um, it's a type that isn't like, you know, phenomenal, um, but it's not terrible either. It's got a lot of weaknesses, it doesn't hit that many Pokemon for super effective, its weaknesses are kind of bad in like Fire, Flying, not really Bug, but Ice. Uh, but it's also weak to poison. It's got, like, so many weaknesses. And the things that it hits are, like, water, rock, and ground, which are, like, definitely important. And, like, you know, they're good to hit. But, um, yeah. And the resistances aren't traditionally thought of as phenomenal either. Like, uh, electric, water, and and grass. Um, and maybe one more that I think I'm forgetting about. Electric, water, grass. I think that's actually it. So, yeah. Like, and you can see that it's pretty skewed towards, like, weaknesses on the, on the one side end. And, like, it doesn't hit that many things for super effective. And it doesn't, like... Oh, resist ground, which is important. Yeah. Um, so why is grass doing so well? Well, I have a couple hypotheses, uh, hypotheses, um, about the reasons why, um, but I can't say for sure. I think the first thing is that the Pokemon that are grass type are right now are, like, are really good. Um, primarily Cartania and Amoongus. So Cartania, uh, is a very good Pokemon, especially with Dynamax. Um, it's a Pokemon that if you let it get out of control can just, like, easily win the game. And that was kind of even before we had access to, even before Dynamax, Cartania was one of the best Pokemon in the game. Um, it's pretty versatile. It normally runs either Focus Sash or a Salt Fest, both items that are going to try and allow it to live more than one hit, um, and it basically has a relatively high base speed, it's not like the fastest thing in the game, but it's pretty solid overall, um, and a really high attack stat, like its attack stat is incredible, and um, has access to fighting and grass moves primarily, and then occasional run other coverage moves as well, it used to run knockoff as the third move if you weren't running Tailwind, um, now it runs Smart Strike because of Dynamax and Aerial Ace if you're running Assault Fest, Protect Otherwise, or Detect Otherwise, but yeah. So, it's a Pokemon that has a lot going for it, in other words. It's offensive, it's fast, it has good coverage, it has a great ability that lets it kind of, like, snowball um, if it starts to get going, and, yeah, that's basically, like, it's a good Pokemon. And with the Salt Fest or Focus Ash, it almost always will live at least one hit, sometimes two if you're lucky, and it's relatively physically bulky as well. Like, it can take 
like resisted rock resisted physical moves all day like physical water moves physical rock moves um and steel is a really good typing as well steel is i think in the s tier as i recall um there's also Amunga. So for those of you who played VGC for the majority of 2020, you know that Tojikiss was the primary redirector. Amoongus wasn't even legal for the majority of it. Um, and yeah, then um, Togekiss was, was still one of the the best redirector, right? Like their other ones had use it in certain cases, but Togekiss was by far the best. Now the meta has changed and it's become really unfavorable to Togekiss. Uh, and so in terms of redirection, I think both Amoongus and Clefairy are the best are the best ones. And Amoongus is probably the best one overall. Um, Togekiss has taken a huge hit. So Amoongus is just a phenomenal support Pokemon. Access to Spore, access to Rage Powder, access to Pollen, Puff and Clear Smog, which are good support moves, and access to Regenerator, giving it a built-in way to heal itself if you're smart with it. So um, it's a really good Pokemon. It's a really, really good Pokemon. And um, yeah, like... Um, there's like it, it's more like Amoongus is a phenomenal Pokemon and, and the fact that it happens to be grass type is like a side effect rather than like the grass typing is super um, good even with that though there's still a lot of like kind of things that are interesting to me at least you can see there's a fair amount of Rillaboom as well Rillaboom makes sense Tabu Fini is the number one most used Pokemon right now so like other grass types are popping up but let's talk about the metagame right um, because I think the real answer to this question is that yeah the grass types are good on their own like but like, you know, if I were to say, if, if I made this video about fire types, and I would say, okay, Incineroar is good in its own, Heatran is good, at, oh, Heatran, we're not sure if it's good or not, but, like, you know, like, Entei has potential, Rotom has potential, like, none of these, like, Blaziken, I don't know what Blaziken's doing here, um, just, like, old Blaziken with sharp stuff, um, but, yeah, like, you know, like, like, any, if you say this typing is important, then you're gonna use the best Pokemon of that typing, right, so, it's, it's kind of, like, uh, counterproductive, um, so what's the real reason, in my opinion, that grass types are doing so well? Well, if you ask me, and you, I guess by virtue of being here, you are asking me, um, my opinion is that it's, it has a lot to do with the metagame. Let's open up a little. Right? Too loud. It has a lot to do with the metagame, in my opinion. Um, because there's kind of a couple key things here. Number one, and the most important, is Regieleki. Regieleki is a Pokemon that is, like, extremely polarizing. It's so difficult to deal with if you don't have a... A resistance or an immunity and it does like tons of damage um like absolute ridiculous amounts of damage um and it's also really hard to hit because it has access to the like the fastest volt switch in the game you know more or less um unboosted at least fastest volt, volt switch so even if it's in a, in a negative matchup it can switch out with volt switch and then come back in um and anything that hits for neutral is still gonna be taking a chunk from volt switch so um and that's not even considering Specs or, or, or Magnet or Regilecki. Like, these are just, like, base Regilecki. It does a lot of damage to the Volt Switch and Thunderbolt. Offer, also offers Speed Control and Electro Web, but that's not really the main thing here. It's, it's the fact that, like, Electric is a tough type to switch into because it, it has three resistances. But, um, yeah, like, anything that it hits for neutral or super effective damage, unless it's incredibly specially bulky, will take a good chunk. And so it can even, like, even Assault Vest Cortana takes a good chunk of Regilecki, right? Um, so, yeah, there's, there's that. Um factor there's also the fact that um Tapu Fini is the number one most used Pokemon right now and Tapu Fini has three weaknesses poison which isn't super popular in the current metagame um I'm actually we're not really count Amoongus doesn't really fact like function as a poison type so like the first actual poison type that's not Amoongus we see is like maybe I've missed one but I, I don't think I don't think so is there any non-Amoongus poison type? Because Amoongus isn't offensive enough to really qualify as... Oh, Nihiligo at 19th here. Nihiligo has picked up popularity since this tournament started, but... Um, yeah, like, poison is not a very popular type because its users are... Its users struggle. Like, just... Just straight up. Its users have a hard time. Um, so... Poison. Electric, which we've already covered. Regieleki and... Like, there's Regieleki and there's a couple other ones. Like, you can even see in the Zapdos, Togedemaru, Raichu, um, Thunderous. Like, there are good Electric types for sure. Rotom Heat... Um, but you normally are going to want more than one check to a Pokemon, and so, um, yeah, like, even if you have an offensive Pokemon, like, you know, Regieleki, or Regieleki, or Rotom, or Thunderous here to try and deal with Tapu Fini, you need, you're going to want more than one Pokemon on your team. So I think Tapu Fini is another reason why Grass types are especially good right now, especially Pokemon like Assault Vest Cartana, who can take the special attacks relatively well, and Amoongus, who, although it can't do too much of a return, can, like, um, either clear Smog away, Calm Mind Boost, or just redirect Moonblast, Moonblast, and stuff like that, um, yeah, so, um, yeah. So, basically, in short, I think that the reason why Grass type is really good right now is just because it's primarily because of the metagame, right? Um, Tapu Fini and Regieleki are two of the biggest things, and, like, 
like Reggie Lucky isn't the most popular Pokemon in the format right now, but it is one of the Pokemon that um, a lot of like it, it, it commands respect, right? Like you can see that there was only two Reggie Lucky in top eight here, which to me was very surprising. But um, that's partially because you know people had counters to it and other stuff. But um, it's a Pokemon that if you don't have an answer to, you probably just lose. And like it's not easy to play around with like a ton of other Pokemon. Like you can have other options. Like the second place team is ta as like Prankster Talon, which is pretty good against Reggie Lucky. Um, and like Amoongus, obviously, which is really good against Reggie Lucky, but like, yeah, you need like a lot of Pokemon like that are like typically good and like still, you need more, you need more explicit stuff for Reggie Lucky in my opinion. Um, and of course, yeah, having positive type of Fini matchup is definitely important as well since it is the number one most used Pokemon right now. Um, so yeah, metagame and then like, I don't think the grass typing is necessarily that useful except for the fact that it resists electric and I think that that kind of in the current metagame probably bumps grass type up from b tier to a tier um yeah speaking of Reggie lucky by the way the first place team you can see has two ground types rotom heat dragapult tyranitar and cartana all of which have a positive magic against Reggie lucky um and i don't i don't think that's necessarily random um i just thought that was an interesting kind of thing there so um yeah so basically why are grass types really good right now i think i just said this but in short metagame primarily Reggie lucky and tapafini and then um like, Spore and Rage Powder immunity are nice, because as you can see, Amoongus uh, is, is, like, pretty popular as well. Um, it's not the most popular, but it's always good to have. And then, I already said Tepafini? Yeah, Reggie Lucky, Tepafini, and then, um, Am uh, like, yeah, I, I guess kind of, like, Spore immunity and Amoongus is, like, also good to have. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting. I was looking at this at this tournament, and I was like, huh, Grass-type is not the type that I would have expected to be, like, pretty much on every single team. So, in some cases, on twice on one, on one team. So, um, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Let me know if you think this is interesting, if this kind of analysis is interesting, because this is just something that I was doing in my own time, and I, I noticed, and I was like, wait a second. Um, and that's like, so when I was building for Players' Cup, initially I thought that you had to have a ground type on your team, like, because of Reggie Lucky, but then I saw this tournament, and I was like, huh, maybe a grass type actually is a type that you actually need, and then I added a grass type instead of a ground type, so, um, yeah, I think it's interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the next video. Goodbye.